I would like this video to throw some light on awake, oral, endotracheal intubation. There are many situations where an awake intubation is a useful technique or perhaps even a standard of care. For example, a patient with angioedema affecting the upper airway may benefit from an intubation performed awake. Administering a syringe of propofol or etomidate will cause unconsciousness and may aggravate airway obstruction and certainly leave the airway unprotected. Administering muscle relaxant will stop spontaneous breathing, and as a practicing anesthesiologist, I always consider keeping someone awake and breathing as a priority and a possible plan A. At the crack of thyroid membrane, everyone feel there. So the top of your neck, the top bump is the thyroid cartilage. That's the notch. And then when you come down a little bit, you're going to, before you get to the cricoid cartilage, you're going to get to the cricothyroid membrane. Nothing's there. I do it every year. So, alcohol swab. Ready? Mm -hmm. Needle goes in. We just sit there for a minute and, well, ten, two, two seconds. He'll withdraw bubbles slowly. And then just get the three cc's in and pull out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you want to spread it around the trachea. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I have five more cc's of lidocaine, and this will go on the fibroscope. And this way we can spray structures as we see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we saw the cords and spread them. And we'll get started again. The point behind this is that awake intubations can be done right in front of your eyes. It was nothing magical today. In general, this is pretty straightforward, basic technique. <laughs>